Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our preview of the 2015 Quick Lane Bowl between the Central Michigan Chippewas and the Minnesota Golden Gophers. And we're going to start this video off by taking a look at my keys to victory. Starting with Central Michigan in this ball game, they have to find ways to supplement the running game. Right now, they're not effective running the football. That offensive line has struggled all season long, and they probably won't be able to get pushed up front versus Minnesota, so they have to go with their short passing game and trusting guys to make one miss to help complement their passing attack. I think it's also going to be important defensively to win up front. They can't allow themselves to get big boyed by this gopher offensive line because all Minnesota really wants to do is run this football to victory. I think they have to be able to win in space on the offensive side. That ties into the first point of finding ways to supplement the running game, throwing short passes, making one miss in space, and then taking it the distance. Moving over to the Gophers in this ballgame, the pass rush has to be present early in this contest. Central Michigan wants to sit back there and throw the football. Their offensive line, like I mentioned before, has struggled mightily throughout the course of the season, and they can find ways to get pressure on a QB that has to start in the first quarter. And points add up. There's no reason to go on these long, sustained drives like Minnesota can do if they don't come away with points. You have to find ways, whether it's three or or seven, get points up on the board and it helps you out as a whole. And the special teams has to play special in this ball game. I think that's one way they can create opportunities for themselves offensively by working with a half a field. I like the Chippewas in this ball game. I think this one will be a defensive battle. You'll see both defenses come ready to play, but at the end, you have to trust which offense can put points up on the board quickly. I think you have to look at Central Michigan and their ability to throw the football. I like the Chippewas to knock off the Gophers in the 2015 Quick Lane Bowl. So for the Quick Lane Bowl, we have Central Michigan going against Minnesota. My X Factor for Minnesota is going to be Shannon Brooks, the freshman running back, 6 feet, 203 pounds. He's a guy that he's a north and south runner, not much wasted movement. He's, he's very powerful with his running game. He has a nice stiff arm. So he's a guy that's going to be an X Factor for Minnesota. They're going to need to keep the ball out of uh, Central Michigan's passing offense because they have a high profile offense. So running the football is going to really help them keep this game in control. So he is the X factor, averaging 6.2 yards per carry. Looking at Central Michigan, my X factor is going to be quarterback Cooper Rush, over 3,700 yards passing. He's going to need to distribute the ball to, he, he has over five receivers, including a tight end that, that's uh, been really productive for them. But uh, he has over five receivers with over 500 yards. So they're definitely going to need to spread, continue to spread the football around. And I, I think that Minnesota is going to win this game. And I definitely have them winning the game behind the, the running attack featuring Shannon Brooks. The Quick Lane Bowl matches two northern teams against each other in Detroit. It's going to be Central Michigan and Minnesota. Now for Minnesota, Roderick Williams is their running back who gets the totes, gets the carries, and Minnesota has been quite as kept a traditional powerhouse in producing running back talent, having a guy drafted last year in David Cobb. Now for Central Michigan, Ben McCord, their tight end, this guy's a little lanky and lean, but as he fills out, I think that he'll get some NFL looks. On the defensive side of the ball, Central Michigan, Yvonne Frazier, their free safety, he's a guy to take a look at. For Minnesota, they have a couple of guys. Antonio Johnson, their strong safety, is a guy to look at. Theron Cochran, who is a guy I mentioned last year uh, as an underclassman. He's a senior now at defensive end. Marine Bodie Calhoun is a cornerback who should get some looks. He's a bigger guy, 5'10", about 195 pounds. He has some day two type talent. I do like Central Michigan in this game. While Minnesota does match up well, I think they have more talent from certain perspectives. I think Central Michigan gets the job done and the Chippewas pull it off 20-16. to 16. 